There's a fire. There's a fire in there. I swear to God that I hear crackling. In really? There's a fire. I hear crackling and everything. Seven days ago, we buried my almost brand new $100,000 F-350 right underneath me as a bunker, pretty much. I, I don't even know why now exactly, but we're going to check on it now after seven days of water damage. We got like four inches of rain. Oh my god. I'm not sure where all that's going. Here we go again. It's settled a little bit. It has. You can see the exact outline oh, where we of this whole bunker. This whole thing. Right here's the hood. It's still wet over there. What? You well, we got battery. <clears throat> what do you see? Windshield good? What? Get down in here. I'm coming. So, uh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's about to come in. Uh. That's the. <laughs> this wasn't at all broke before. It's just this little no, part. It was just, it was just right. Oh, that's coming down a lot. Is it? You can't really fit your hand between there. Oh. <laughs> it's going. All right, let's see if she starts up. Give her a cold start. Starts right up. <laughs> Show that. It's just warm up. Uh, it's not supposed to roll that much cold. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. What did you do? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's messed up. I bet we don't have intake because it flooded. Because I bet you where, I, where I fell through, that was that fender. Ooh, all yeah. the dirt went down and plugged that up. How's that looking? Well, this is mud. This used to not be mud. <laughs> That's just wet mud right there. Yeah, there was there was water coming in pretty bad there. I'm gonna lower. I'm gonna bounce the whole thing. I'll try to just. I'll move that any level. <laughs> so all the way down now. I can hear it cracking. It's all the way down. I think. What is that? It weighs like 20 pounds. That's hefty. I just got those in the mail. Three of those. So what I want to figure out is if an actual airstrike were called in on our bunker here, how we'd hold up. Perfect. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> that would hurt bad. He's going to fire a burst into there to see what it sounds like. He's going to hit all three of those half pounds and he's going to hit the 10 pound. The big boy. The big boy. So I'm gonna climb down in here. I'm trusting you. <laughs> you cover this good I'm now. Cover you up and then I'm gonna Cover this leave. good. Uh, let me out! Let me out! Put the plywood over. Okay, he just fired the warning shot. He's gonna shoot 10 rounds into the dirt now, so here we go. Okay, 10 right, half pound targets here. He's missing. <laughs> okay, he's got he's got two more half pound targets here. Okay, that was big. Okay, I'm gonna hunker down. I'm gonna put the phone here and I'm gonna hunker down because this is this is a lot bigger than I thought. I thought he had one coming that was 10 times bigger. I was like freaking out. You're alive. Uh, two of those not blow up? No. Okay, because I only hurt one. Yeah. And I thought you had two more half pounds. <laughs> I thought the big one was a half pound, so I'm preparing for something 10 times as big as that. The big one went off, and it was like a, a little percussion, like right inside, like the whole thing like shook a little bit. <laughs> I was like, if there's one ten times as big as that, like this, this thing's going, <laughs> this thing's going down. I was like, I was, I was completely hunkering down. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try to spin the tires. Put her in low. We'll start off easy. Spin it at all or no? That's the thing I can't tell. Let me look at my speedometer. Yeah. 
broke loose. No way. They broke loose. I saw it sit still and then it jumped. <laughs> They're spinning under there. So I'll put it in drive and we'll do a whole dyno pull underground. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what? I guess you could say it's a need for speed underground. Hi, I'm Brooke Burke. Why, why does nobody laugh? Gauge here. Three, two, one. I imploded either my intake or I lost uh, I don't have intake anymore or I sucked something in you what? imagine the air that had to be going through there to push that oh, out there's probably a lot yeah we probably stuck imploded something because there was, wasn't enough air going in I maxed out a 40 psi boost gauge in like two seconds <laughs> out of the pole before it even got to the max holy cow those EGTs had to have been so hot oh my god oh the intake what's coming out of there whoa, 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 whoa. could it be on fire no, there's not air for the fire to breathe. Uh, dude? What? Is that blow by? There's a fire! There's there? a fire in there! Okay, I'm gonna get the excavator, uh, get the four wheel bucket to water. I swear to God that I hear I, crackling. In really? There. Fire. Air boiling. Dig up and try to get the hood open right away. While I'm digging this up, get buckets of water and get them here right now. So when we get the hood up, we can dump them on the hood. All right. today end up having to dig it up but we're gonna show that in the next episode because I can't fit it all in there uh, some accidents may have happened with the excavator when we were digging it out just, and then someone got a little carried away with the, the claw on the bucket there so you can see the specialties behind me uh, I'm sad to inform you all that as of today the 1957 GMC is no longer with us sold it for you guys that's right I sold it for you I miss it a little bit but I'm also glad it's it's not gonna end up in the scrap pile right away anyways so at least y'all won't have to see that thing go off a cliff oh, that's exactly what I bought it for new owner got some new polished wheels on it so so it looks freaking sick now so I'll see y'all next time
and we are going to dig this freaking thing up. 